My name is Jasmine. Um, my course is law and I am in my fourth year. Um, it's Durham. Could you tell us about your Instagram? So my Instagram is called Legally Jazz and it just kind of documents um, kind of my journey really into kind of trying to enter the legal profession and like my life as like a paralegal um, and studying at the same time. Yeah, and I, us I usually share kind of like commercial awareness tips and things like that as well. Why did you, could you imagine the course you're currently taking? Law. Why did you choose your course? I, I chose, I chose my, to do law at A level as well and just kind of on a whim and, and I was really, I really enjoyed it and then I think I just, I was between law and maybe history or something and I thought that law would be more practical and maybe would give me kind of better career prospects, I guess. But then again, <laughs> so it's very competitive law so I'm not really sure if that worked out but um I definitely don't regret it and I definitely think it's the right it was the right course for me otherwise I wouldn't be doing a master's in it as well how you said what year you could you mind what year you're in the fourth year which is just the master's so what have you thought of your course um I thought I think it was it's very challenging very lots to learn and lots of reading I think Durham, where, where I did my first three years, um, is very, the, the definitely put you under a lot of um, kind of pressure work-wise. Um, and that's that's why that's why it, it, it's kind of such a good university, really, because you really are challenged. Um, but the lecturers and et cetera are like experts in their field and things. So it is de it was definitely, it's definitely an interesting course to do, um, but you have to be up for the challenge of it. Did you come from a sixth form or a level or college background? College. And in college, what subjects, what subjects slash A levels did you study? Um, I did law, history, and politics, and religious studies. Did any of these subjects help you with your course? Well, law did obviously. Some of the kind of things that we covered in A level were almost exactly what we covered in first year of uni, so it definitely helped. But also, kind of, I did lots of history and religious studies, a kind of essay based subjects, and that definitely helped when I was doing law because it's, it's all essays. Okay, and um, what do you think the best A level class subjects are for your course? Um, I think there's lots of debate about whether to do law at A level and how it affects getting into university to do it, etc. Um, I think it really doesn't matter whether you do it or not. Um, although I I'm definitely glad I did it and it definitely confirmed my interest in law. Um, there has been lots of talk about um, kind of science subjects and well STEM subjects that help you with your course if you're doing law because just the way it gets you thinking um, and the skills it teaches. So I think whatever. I think the thing with law is whatever the subject you're doing, um, they, they can help you in different ways to, to do law and there's no right or wrong answer. Did you take a placement year? Um, I didn't, no. Is there a reason for this? Um, it wasn't. I think at some universities that offer law, um, they do kind of encourage it. But at Durham, it was definitely more academic as opposed to practical law-wise. So they kind of didn't, it wasn't a thing that you did at Durham. What were the best and worst things about studying at Durham University? Starting off with the worst. Um, probably it's, it is quite, it is quite posh in many aspects and it can be quite cliquey and it can be quite intimidating in some ways. We have a lot of kind of formal dinners and stuff like that, which before I went, I thought I'd be quite interested in. But then when I got there, I kind of was definitely put off by, by the kind of, by, by the kind of whole institution of it. I thought it was quite, um, coming from Durham, as, as a local person I just thought it was quite the division between like local people and Durham University people was just kind of it was quite it's just not very nice <laughs> it was just not very nice to be part of really that's probably the worst just kind of the whole kind of class divide type thing that was going on in Durham didn't like that at all um, anything else no that's probably the main thing because otherwise the kind of the best things would do with just how just kind of how good kind of the university was and how prestigious it was um, and kind of how there was so many societies and things to get involved in as well so many kind of opportunities that come from going to Durham University. If we break down where you lived in your undergrad where did you live in your first year? First year I lived in Hall. And what did you think? Which hall uh, did you live in? I lived in Josephine Butler which is I think it's the only self-catering college Durham because there's a there's a few different colleges um, with different aspects. Yeah. So in first year I lived in Hall. And what did you think? Um, I thought 
I, I think it was, it was fine. It, it had less of kind of a community feel than like a lot of the ones that I'd heard of at Durham. Um, but if you want self-catering, then that is, that is, that's the one to go to when you have kind of en suites and things in halls and it's quite, it is, it's quite new as well. Um, so it's definitely the one to go to if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. And your second year? I'm second year I'm at home and I did year as well. Is, what was it like living at homes versus living in the university halls? Um, it was difficult in some ways to kind of keep connected to Durham and um, to the university. But I think if you make the effort to like join societies and things, you can easily do it and it, it, it's fine. The reason why I did it was purely just financial reasons because because I was actually saving up to go traveling, etc. So I, I just thought it was the best the best thing for me at the time but it definitely is a lot harder to be a like part of the community okay what do you think the best durham accommodation is um i think there's accommodation in the kind of in the castle which is just literally a castle which is which everyone thinks is quite quite fun but the actual accommodation inside it isn't isn't, isn't that great apparently it's quite like run down and not down the old building so it's not exactly it's not exactly great but for the aesthetics and just for, to say that you live in a castle, that's obviously, obviously quite good. If we go into the area, could you tell us about the nightlife? Um, in Durham's quite a small city compared to um, other big ones like Leeds or Newcastle. So the nightlife isn't is quite limited. But I think if you've got if you find a good group of friends, etc., you can kind of have fun ev- anywhere. Um, it's not it's not exactly essential, and some nightlife is not as wide ranging as. Could you tell what is the shops and food variety like? Are you just got local shops or have you got your popular shops and local shops? Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of popular shops. Um, it's quite just like a high street and like a shopping area, etc. You can kind of get everything you need if you want. It. There is, and there's also Newcastle. That's just kind of a ten minute train ride away from Durham, so it, it's quite easy to get to kind of big shopping centres if, if that's what you were looking for. Could you tell us about your masters? Uh, yeah, so I'm doing my masters and at Leeds Beckett. The reason why I'm doing it at Leeds Beckett is purely because I wanted I, I had to have a job in Leeds, so I wanted to do it at the same time as my job, and it was just location-wise, it's the best option. Yeah, so I do it. The my master's is, is in law as well, and it includes the LPC, which means that I just need to get a training contract, and then that's that'll result in me being a solicitor eventually. Yeah, so I do my master's part time and alongside working as well. What advice do you give to students about to start university? General advice? Um, be open-minded and don't be scared to kind of like step out your comfort zone and just do things that you wouldn't do before. And it might seem like the biggest deal in the world, but after university, you'll soon forget what kind of first year or the silly things that you did or silly choices that you made and like things that you regret doing or not doing. It, it really, it's not so much time in university and you just need to make the most of it. What advice would you give to students about to study at your university? Um, I think probably the advice that I'd probably give um, to those starting at Durham is to make sure to join as many things as possible and don't get trapped in just doing the same things or hanging around with people. Just kind of try and meet as many people as possible and try as many different things as possible because only then will you really get like the true experience of, of, of the place. What advice would you give to students about to study your course? Um, I think don't be intimidated by kind of words you've never heard of or kind of the way law operates and is, is studied because it can be quite intimidating because it's quite the language when you even get what you'd usually come across and just read as, the more you read, the better, the better it'll be for you to grow your knowledge. You chose going to university over an apprenticeship plus going right into work. What path did you to make this choice? Um, well, at the time, there wasn't really many apprenticeships that were kind of, I saw that like were really something that I really wanted to do. I think now, like as I was going into like my third year, etc., there's a lot more talk about kind of legal apprenticeships. And I think if I could go back, I might have considered doing that. But I thought that university was definitely the best route for me. And I just kind of wanted to go down that traditional route and have the kind of university experience. Could you tell us more about your Instagram? Um, which is Legally Jazz. I did start that during like the lockdown period to kind of both kind of talk about my like journey through law so far, because it's been kind of up and down and what 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 I've liked, what I've disliked, and any tips that I'd give for those like 
trying to get into the legal profession, especially because I, I now work as a paralegal. So, um, and lots of people want to do that after after a law degree. And also, I wanted to kind of connect with other people that were doing their LPC or working part time or were applying for training contracts, etc. So that's really why I made it and, and started kind of posting, etc. Um, and I also kind of I think it kind of keeps me on track with with mm. my own aspirations etc by like following others talking to others that are in the same position because we kind of all keep each other keep each other going when when things are tough like uh, lots of people have been receiving lots of job rejections and application rejections at the moment and so i think knowing that we're all on the same boat is kind of quite quite supportive and that's kind of why i made instagram so i'll probably just say once whatever decision that you make with regard to studying or whichever um course that you choose or profession that you want to go in it really whatever you can always change your mind and it's never too late and um, i always thought that like time was getting ahead of me and that i just needed to make a decision quickly but there is a lot of like resources out there now that will help you make the right decision and if you change your mind that is fine that's and if you are wanting to get into law, obviously follow my Instagram. That'll help give you a good, better idea of what it's like when you when you you are kind of on that kind of second stage. You've done your degree, but at the same time you're doing your masters, etc. And kind of seeing what it's like to to get past that degree stage and start thinking more practically about getting into the legal profession. And um, so that's what I just if, if you want to follow my Instagram, that's fine. But other than that, I think just don't beat yourself up about making the wrong decision because there's, there's no there's no wrong decision whether you decide to go to university or not.